Hello everyone, welcome back. It's another episode here. Um, I'm gonna actually give you an update on the um, the body armor here. So uh, here's what it looks like. Let me back up here. And I've been wearing it. It's been interesting wearing the ghost body armor here uh, covertly. Uh, this is just me wearing it without anything. And the reason why I got a short is because it uh, gives me some waist room to wear my fanny pack. And as you know, cheap pepper spray from Harbor Freight, non-lethal. Um, my phone, some money and credit cards, ID and all that. And then of course, back here in the main pocket. So this is kind of why I wanted some room here around the waist for me to carry my fanny pack or hip pack as how some people would say and also uh, a belt as well uh, so I can actually have a holster on the belt and have it on here if I need to usually don't so here's what I have to say about the whole system and if you want to take a look at the back that's what it looks like in the back with the uh, with this going around it, come over here on that. There we go. You can see that as well. So, so there's a room for a belt if you choose to wear a belt and have a holster left or right, front, back, however you want it. Because I have a uh, uh, the visor, which is a normal, which comes down to here. And when I use the fanny pack, you've probably seen it on some of my bike rides. Uh, I've I've had to strap it on really the fa the fanny pack at least. I have to strap it on really tight, and then even then it kind of eventually droops down. So I, I think ideally for a concealed uh, body armor, um, this worked for me. Now you may want to get a, uh, the right size for you to have it go down here, but this is what I chose. So it, at first, it seems like it's not covering, and it really does feel like it's not covering, but again, something is better than nothing. Uh, my experience with it so far is that uh, you will build up heat, okay? So um, I'm not sure how practical it is to wear this during uh, the summertime when it's really hot. Uh, the winter time you probably can. And, uh, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and, uh, I'll wear something over this. And during the winter, I usually wear black because that absorbs a lot of heat. And so, uh, let me put something on and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right. So this is what it looks like, um, when I'm wearing something over it and I usually wear something darker because uh, just my opinion. In the winter, you want to absorb as much heat and black absorbs heat. And in the summer, I wear white. It reflects a lot of heat. So this is what it looks like. I usually leave this out. So it kind of, you know, looks like this bottom part is c coming out. So it gives an illusion because what you'll notice in the back if you can see it, you'll see the you'll see the uh, the back part right here stick out. I'll, I'll exaggerate it a little bit more. Let me uh, turn around here. I'll exaggerate it a little bit more. You see that coming out. So I'm hoping by having this come out, it gives an illusion where you'll the eyes will see this part of it, and then you won't see this back part sticking out of the uh, the back panel and the same thing for the front where you're, this kind of comes out and this looks more s coming in uh, just a visual illusion that's all it is that's all it ever will be but this is kind of what it looks like and I'll, again I'll try to uh, and this is with my fanny pack of course this is my fanny pack underneath it uh, other times I will wear the fanny pack over here, over this as well. And uh, let me show you what that looks like. All right, here you go. Uh, here's my, here's the 
belt outside. Sometimes I just, when I go outside, I'll just wrap it around if I have my clothes on already. And again, I just leave this out. And then again, it gives an, an illusion appearance that this is sucked in, this is coming out. So the back side doesn't seem as bad. As you can see right here, this is right here. That is the panel. And of course, you can see the edges around the shoulder. You can see the edges around the shoulder right, right there. The edges on the shoulder, you can see that. But, uh, you know, at first glance, you can't really tell. And typically, what I do, uh, here, I'll show you the other side here. And typically, what I do is I do, I take one more step. I take one more step, and what I'll do is I'll wear a backpack. And, you know, I, I carry a lot of electronics with me, my, my camera, my setup anyway, um, the iPad, and some other stuff. So I'll wear a backpack as well. And let me show you what it looks like wearing a backpack, especially if you go outside. A lot of people wear a backpack, so let me be right back. Okay, everybody, I'm, I'm back and I have the, I'm wearing my small, very small backpack and now it really obscures the body armor to the point where you can't see the back panel. You can't, uh, with the colors, kind of all the different colors going on, it's hard to distinguish the shape of the body armor itself as you can see. And so, uh, wear a backpack, a small backpack. I, I usually just wear one anyway to carry stuff. And so, now when you look at this in totality, uh, you, you really can't see the body armor. Maybe the shoulder, maybe the shoulder, like right back here. Uh, sorry, right back here. You, there might be some hints that uh, you, there's something there, but the backpack really does a good job of just covering that, making a, a visual illusion that there's nothing there. And uh, often, you know, people walk out. Uh, I walk like this without the body armor. Now I'm going to do this with the body armor. And so, uh, anyways, my point is that it, it is concealable. You can covertly wear this and it should work. So uh, that's my update on this. If you're wondering about uh, the Ghost body armor by uh, Safeguard Armor, it uh, the only drawback is it does warm you up. So in the winter, it's great. I don't have to wear uh, too many jackets. I just wear the body armor and then a light jacket like this. And I could be out in temperatures of below 50. 60 to 50 and below around that range is the ideal temperature in wearing this to stay cool or at least you to stay warm but not overheat and sweat. Anyways, uh, I'm going to include this episode here. So feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe and thumbs up. See you all later. Bye.